Hi folks, Dave the Honest Audio File. This is the open outdoors. We are in nature. And these are my honest audio file thoughts. So we're on vacation and we're in a cabin in the woods and we're far away from the hustle and bustle of normal life. We have to drive several miles to be able to get into a town to purchase supplies or to buy groceries or, you know, go out to eat or, you know, anything of the sort. And I'm nowhere near my audio gear. And over the last couple of days, some thoughts came to mind and that was having an open mind and understanding what natural sounds like. So let's tackle first what natural sounds like. I'm standing here and I hear birds chirping. I hear various other sounds of the woods, hustles and bustles of animals and critters and all that kind of stuff. And I hear space and I hear things off in the distance and they come and they go. Things fly around my head. All kinds of interesting sounds, but one thing is clear. It is really clear. And there's a clarity to what I'm hearing. And as an audiophile, I'm looking for a reproduction of natural sounds. And when I listen to gear, I'm taking it and matching it up to what I hear in a live setting. Whether that setting is in the open spaces like I currently am right now, or if it's in a studio, or an arena, or a stadium, or anything of the sort. I'm looking for that natural reproduction and accurate sound. That's what natural is. Does it have the openness? Does it have the clarity? Does it have everything kind of moving around, but yet... I'm in the middle. Does it make me feel like it's a natural setting and does it remove all of the falsy, fake, added in sounds? The other thing, open, openness. And when I think about openness, not only do I think about the vastness that is standing here with the woods and everything around me, but also about having an open mind to various opinions and thoughts. And unfortunately, it seems like there's a lot of YouTube channels that are using their channel as a bully pulpit. And they're closed-minded. They, they focus on one type of setting, one type of thought, one type of target curve, one type of sound. And they push that narrative. This is the only way. This is the way that you should be thinking. This, this, this. Instead of going, hmm, maybe I should think about what these others are hearing and see why. And try to hear it for myself. Whether or not I agree or disagree, maybe there's some credence to what they're saying. Maybe there's a there's got to be a reason why they're hearing it the way that I am or they are. So what's the difference? But instead... It's just automatic. They're wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. I'm right. And my channel viewers are right. But everybody else is just... Have an open mind when it comes to audio. Try to understand why there's differences. Because there are. There are differences in, in types of music. There's differences in, in quality of recordings of music. There's differences in playback gear whether it be a DAC or an amp, a speaker, a headphone, or an IEM. There's differences in whether or not it's a closed back or an open back. There's differences in different types of drivers and in materials that are used, whether it be copper wire, silver wire, gold wire, anything of the sort. There are differences and the final say in all of this is we're all biased in some way. We all have our own opinions and thoughts of how something should sound. 
and we all have a differing idea of what we're searching for. And the only judge that really matters to us all should be our ears. It shouldn't be, what does the graph say? What does the measurement say? It should be, does it sound proper to my ears? If you have an opinion and a baseline and a benchmark of what the sound should sound like, whether it be out in the open, natural, and then have neutral, which is an uncolored sound that isn't natural. And you understand what that sounds like because you've heard those instruments. You've heard that music in the open. Then when you listen to your playback music, you'll have a baseline. You'll have a benchmark. And sure, you might think that some gear sounds that way. And then someone else says, but this gear sounds that way. And you're able to maybe listen to those types of gear and determine which one actually sounds that way. Have an open mind to be able to hear the differences and to be able to understand what you're hearing instead of being, nope, don't hear it. And I really don't care because this says this, so-and-so says this. Have an open mind. Be willing to hear the open, natural, neutral sound and to be seeking a natural, accurate reproduction of sound. Don't allow people to use their YouTube channel as a bully pulpit to put people down, to force an opinion. They should have an open mind and open opinions and be willing to listen to both sides and then to voice their opinion as to why they agree or disagree and why they hear it the way they hear it. Get an, get an explanation. Understand why the reviewer believes what they believe instead of them just being and saying, this is right, no matter what. I'm right. Everybody else is wrong. Use your ears as your final judge. It's okay to use all the other stuff. Use graphs and measurements and specs and all of that. Sure, go ahead. Use it as a guide, as a tool. But ultimately... The final say should be your ears. Be open to your ears. Allow them to be the final judge. Does this sound neutral, natural, and accurate to my ears? It's been Dave, The Honest Audiophile. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. And then, don't forget to... Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. Also, check out all the links down below. There's all kinds of good information down there and somewhere on the screen. It's been Dave, The Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to enjoy the music and honesty is the best policy.